Hello again, Craig here from thepreppersstop.com. This time we're going to talk about gas masks. Um, what about gas masks? Why do we need a gas mask? I can tell you a little quick story, actually. Uh, I was once in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma doing a show, and uh, I kept hearing these sirens in the background. Didn't know what was going on. And uh, basically then all the lights went out, the street lights and the business lights, all the lights went out in the, in the city from what I could see from my vantage point. What's going on? What's going on? I turn on the radio, I come to find out there was a fire in a chemical plant that makes chlorine for swimming pools. Now, had that been, um, that turned out, they, there was not a big emergency in the end, everything was under control, but had that uh, tank blown or leaked, uh, there could be a lot of people dead very quickly, unless you had a gas mask. See, you're not going to go anywhere. It's, as soon as this happens, the roads are immediate traffic jam, then you got a lot of dead people on the road. So gas masks, it's not just for police raids, it can be for other things too. Maybe you live near... Uh, railroad tracks and you got t all kinds of chemicals being transported by rail car. Are you going to be able to get away? That's why gas masks are actually important. So there are other reasons why you might need a gas mask other than the police kicking down your door. So what about the gas mask? Um, that's why we might need one. Uh, let's see here. What's the next question? I'm trying to think of the most popular questions I get, the most common questions. What do they filter out? Well, basically, these filters, whether you're talking, and any country in the world uses these types of filters. This one happens to be Swiss. This one happens to be Israeli. Uh, all militaries around the world use the same kind of filter. Basically, this one in particular one is called the NATO cartridge, meaning the thread size is 40 millimeters. They fit universally. Most masks in the world use that NATO cartridge. So if you have an Israeli mask, you can still put a Swiss filter on it. And most other countries in the world, they're interchangeable. So that's the most universal standard, the 40 millimeter NATO thread. That's one thing to remember. Militaries all around the world use them. So basically your answer is they filter out anything that the military might have to encounter. They have what they call a HEPA filter in there, which is a pleated, very fine paper, which filters out dust. And then you have the charcoal in there. That's the ingredient of these things. So, and they're all built the same way. The Israeli one is no better than the Swiss one and vice versa or US or any of the other co countries out there that make gas mask filters. So I wouldn't worry about the filter, just make sure you got the right one for your mask, of course. Um, now, how long do the filters last is another one. And that's not really a fair question because it really depends what you're breathing in. Generally, the, the most generic answer is 12 to 24 hours in use. However, if you're in the middle of a volcanic eruption where there's a lot of dust in there, it might plug up in 10 minutes. So in other words, it really depends on what you're breathing in, okay? Um, now, some people say, oh, well, what about new exotic gases? What, how can they protect against that? Well, according to the Geneva Convention, there are no new exotic gases. And what's out there is all there is. There isn't anything else. Now, you, you take your own uh, ideas about that, what that could mean, but there are some special ones, These and, and what is shelf life? Because they always ask about shelf life, too. As long as they're sealed... Okay, you can see that one's sealed. That one's still sealed by the factory. As long as they're still sealed, they basically have an indefinite shelf life. There's a lot of internet rumors going out there about shelf life of filters. Unless they have a special activated ingredient, some kind of exotic filter, then there is no shelf life because it's just charcoal and that pleated paper. In other words, there's nothing to expire on them, essentially. So ignore all those people that are claiming theirs are better because they're newer or whatever, or you can't buy that one because it's, it's 10 years old. It really, as long as they're still sealed. Now, this one's not sealed, you see, so this one I wouldn't trust my life with. But this was sealed, but I was showing you as an example. They come in a lot of different forms the way they're sealed. So, um, unless you're looking at some kind of uh, unusual filter that has activated ingredients, there is, is no shelf life. And so the, the standard 40 millimeter NATO cartridges don't have a shelf life. Uh, let see, what else did I answer all the questions? Uh, mask quality in different countries. There's a lot of different countries that make masks, of course, uh, gas masks. Really, the bottom line is as long as you get a seal around your skin, and somebody with a beard can't get a good seal, by the way, as long as you get, because this is a negative pressure uh, mask, basically, as long as you get a good seal and all the valves inside working properly, as long as the mask is functioning properly, all masks are suitable. Okay, all masks from all countries. Some of the Russian ones are terrible to wear because it's like a big shower cap that goes over your head and you tear your hair out trying to end really uncomfortable, sweat like crazy. Uh, this one particular one has a, and a lot of countries have this, has a little port here to put a water tube. This is what the water tube looks like in the packaging. It has a valve on it. 
to where you can drink water while you're wearing it because you'll be sweating a lot more and if you're doing any kind of activity, if you're wearing it for a long period of time, you're eventually going to need to drink water. So that's what that port is for. You don't have to unhook it. You can just leave it like that. So as long as the mask is functioning properly, it's designed properly, it fits right. Now, here at the prepperstop.com, we have two sizes of masks. We have the youth mask, which is for about 3 to 12-year-olds, and then we have the adult mask. Sometimes, by the way, very petite women that maybe only weigh 98 pounds or something, they may fit better in a youth mask. But generally, those are for 3 to 12-year-olds, and, the, and then you have adult sizes. There's only two sizes in the Israeli version. Other countries have a lot of other different sizes. But for the money, for the price we have here at the prepperstop.com, it's a decent mask at a good price. It's well worth the buy. Now, the bottom line is we hope we never have to use these things, but they're there in case you need it, and that's what all the things are um, we have here at the Prepper Stop is in case we need them, and we hope we never have to use any of them. But it's good to be prepared, just for some events, just like I was telling you about when I was in Tulsa. So that's about it for the gas mask. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my name is Craig for the prepperstop.com or forbiddenknowledge.info.